Good news for North Alabama. The Department of Public Health says the number of new coronavirus cases per day is actually decreasing. Our Kayla Carlisle is in Madison County with more. Right now, Alabama is sitting on more than 4,500 COVID-19 cases, and more than 200 of those positive cases come from right here in Madison County. But aside from what seems like a never-ending increase in COVID cases, there is some light at the end of the tunnel. Dr. Karen Landers with the Alabama Department of Public Health reported today that more than 1,200 Alabama cases have now made a recovery. And there will be additional persons that will meet that criteria at some point uh, in this outbreak. The number of recovered patients serves as a reminder that this will come to an end eventually. But when it comes to becoming, quote, recovered, what exactly does that mean? Well, in the broad sense, recovered means that the person no longer has symptomatology. But if we're looking at this from the standpoint of some criteria, we consider that persons who have had COVID need to be afebrile for at least three days with no fever-reducing medication and have been a minimum of seven days from the onset of their symptoms. Dale Strong with the Madison County Commission seems to think we are making our way to flattening the curve. Our curve is definitely being flattened because people have listened and people have responded. He says all credit goes to the hardworking people in North Alabama. Molecular testing here in Madison County, Alabama was created in 29 days to determine those who were infected with COVID-19 with results in a matter of hours. We saw how mechanical engineers tested how to make a ventilator breathe for more than one person. We've learned to produce medical supplies with our own hands through 3D printing and record timing. Putting the Valley first, I'm Kayla Carlisle, WZDX News.